All right, guys. So um, this will be the only time, the last time, okay, that I address this. I want you to see the truth about what goes on with this guy, Crypto Saint, and me in the chat rooms, okay? And I don't care if you hit the thumbs down because I know you're all his buddies coming to my channel to hit the thumbs down. But you don't know what goes on. So I'm going to show you the real chats. You only see little segments he posts to make me look bad. But I'm going to show you exactly what we're talking about on here, okay, guys? Now watch. Let's start up here. I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you how I tried to reason with this guy and his lies and accusations on people. And I'll show you his responses like a high schooler, okay? All right, so here we go. Now, I didn't want to make this video, but I'm tired of him taking bits and clips out of what I say and making videos of it, okay? So, um, well, you'll see. It'll speak for itself. Here we go. So here he's attacking Crypto Noof, all right? Because he just he's just, he just lives in his own head and I guess he makes these scenarios up and he believes them and as long as he feels he talks about them as their fact, he feels everyone's going to follow his lead. And I don't know why someone would misrepresent truth to to gain followers or viewers. It does it don't make any sense. I mean, why not just be yourself, have good content, and build your channel. I mean, he's obviously creative. He obviously has the time to spend. I just don't know why he attacks YouTubers and makes up lies. And I don't like to even have to address him because it's stooping to that level. But, I mean, when my character's attacked on a daily basis and I have worked hard to build my channel, I owe it to my subs to clear up the confusion. So I want you to read all this. Normally I delete my messages that I put up because I don't want people reposting it and rearranging it. But I'm going to leave this exactly intact and I'm going to show you everything, okay? I want you to read through this. Here I tell Crypto Noof, you don't owe anyone explanations because here Crypto Noof is trying to defend himself to... to Crypto Saint, who just keeps making these stupid accusations. It's crazy. <sighs> Man, so... Here Crypto Noob tells him, because I did an interview with the Oracle, he made 700 videos about how much of a bad person I am, and then asked for his subs if okay to do the same. Who cares? That means nothing. Okay. So, he's upset... Obviously, because he says I go into um, all these programs. But what his lying ass doesn't tell people, okay? He just deceives everybody for views. What he don't tell people is I had the money to go in the program. So I went in before November. I went in 40 of them because I was new to crypto. And I was like, I saw every all these YouTubers promoting programs. So I assumed they were all legit and people were... Being honest on YouTube, I didn't know it was full of deception and motivation to make money. So I was like, cool. You know, and I asked someone, how do you set up a channel? They showed me how to set up a channel, and I started promoting my programs I was getting into because I thought all programs were going to be beneficial for everybody. Okay? That is the truth. I have no responsibility for any of them scamming. I don't know why they scammed. I didn't want them to scam. And yes, I was in 41 programs. I am still in 20-some programs that have not scammed, but they're just like laying dead, not doing anything. Now, do I think they're going to come back to life? I assume towards June, July, when crypto picks up again and the trends start flowing, they might come back to life. Did I lose money? If you want to look at it that way, yes, but I'm still started out with thirty thousand dollars and I still have like fifty thousand in my account so I'm still twenty thousand ahead of the game okay so I did not lose money I just lost in them programs profits that I had from other programs but I did make money in crypto so for this guy to keep saying that hey follow Pete follow him in the videos I make are to show people that these programs are still alive and have a chance to come back Okay, and the only reason I make videos is because some of my subs are in the programs. Did they follow me in? No. They followed other people in. But they are on my channel, so I'm going to let them know the latest things going on with these programs. All right, enough of the explanation. So let's go through this. 
So he's going to make a jerk out of me. Hey, guys, I'm sorry. Every PD clone I promoted based out of Panama is just like the majority of previous exit scam I'm invested in. Okay. So he wants to play games. Um, did you guys practice this routine? Because I stuck up for, um, what's his name, Crypto Noof, and he's sticking up for me. Because we both know it ain't right, and we're both mature enough to admit it that this crypto saying is being a jerk. Okay. Did you practice this routine before you came in the room? I've heard this routine before. He didn't hear nothing before. He's not a man of the world. He's a, he's a fucking kid who plays video games all day, every single day of his life. And that's what he was, a gamer who turned into a crypto enthusiast. All right? So, um, let's see. Let's, so when I try, man up, hold on, I mean this phone number. He's trying to make a joke. I mean, stick us, those phone number is everywhere. If scammers call them, surely you're calling him within the realm of possibilities. Come on, Noof. Okay, so I'm saying I never knew he even made videos until he did a Stacasso video. I was blown away and offended. Okay, and he's trying to, and I'm telling him, my number is on the front page of my phone, my Facebook, and all my websites. My number is public knowledge for the last 17 years I've had the same number. He goes, no one visits your Facebook. So, oh, that's so mature. Okay, so here, let's get into the beef of things. So you can sh see what kind of person he is, okay? So he's attacking Noof saying, you said you were 30K in the hole. Number one, anything that I say Noof says or any other YouTuber says is none of Crypto Saints' business. Why is he so obsessed with everyone else's business? I mean, here's a man who has children, a wife, you know, a life. Why does he obsess over other people? You know why? Because he wants these conversations to go on. Then he clips. He takes a little part that will make someone look suspicious. And he'll take a clip of it. And then he'll make a video about it. And it ain't cool. It's not cool. It is slander, defamation, and libel. It is illegal. Number one, he does not have my permission to copy any of these in these private chat rooms, okay? This isn't public. This is invite only. To You have to join this chat room, okay? So, let's see. Let's go to where I started. I said, I say to him, how does it affect you, honestly? How does me or Noof affect you personally, really? You know, you made three comments now about my father. Okay, he made comments about my dad. I knew your dad. He said you were a scammy little fucker. Uh, then one video he said, I am your dad. Now, my dad died of cancer three years ago on Christmas Day, okay? So I tell him that. I was like, you know, you said bad things about me. You, you said you knew my father, God rest his soul. He died of cancer three years ago, Christmas Day. Greatest man i ever known. And you bring him up. You never even knew him. Yet, I know how your mom passed away, and I would never talk about her because I know it hurt you. So what does that say about your character? See, you don't think of who you may hurt with your motives. It ain't cool, Tony. Okay? So, he said, um, let's get out of this. I don't want to see this, what new for saying him. Let's see. He goes, who the fuck mentioned his father? Now, he's going to lie. says he's going to mention my father, and all of a sudden, he has a... a his brain clicks in and he remembers. Then he goes, he goes, oh man, shut up, you sensitive, your sensitive ass up. Nobody really meant anything against your pops, okay? And I stand by what I said. I knew your pops. He told me you were a little knucklehead, so so what? Listen, this um, street thug from um, Center, New Jersey, never knew my father. He couldn't even be in the same place as my father, uh, my father frequent, okay? My father was the CEO of a big company, um, general manager of a big company. The only way he could have known my father is my father hired and fired his ass. So this guy just talks shit, all right? You're clearly a knucklehead, okay? Now, here, here are the insults from him, okay? Now, I'm giving you guys the truth. This is the last time I should have to address this. So... I said, you never knew my father, and what you meant to say is you never knew your father. So I take a little jab at him, which is probably the truth, okay, that's why he's so bitter. He said, oh, original, but mine was better. You roast, your roasting game is lacking. See, what he don't understand is this ain't a roasting game to me. 
okay? I'm trying to defend my character and get to the bottom of why this nobody, okay, feels the need and is so compelled to trash people he doesn't know in order to gain subscribers and viewers. And the only thing I can think of is because the only thing he's promoting is his master note. So I'm figuring he's making money off referrals. Because the only way to make money in P3D is to have a, a master node and get referrals. If you put money in there, you're going to make slow, long-term money. But now you're losing it because they're dumping. But if you have a master node and you could promote it and get people to get in it, you can make fast money. Okay? So that's his motivation. So let's keep going. I said, so you think it's a game, but what you fail to realize is my children watch my channel and my and videos are watched by my granddaughter and then she wants to ask, why is this man saying I'm a scammer? Pop up, what's a scammer? So come on, bro. Think about what you, who your videos are affecting if you don't mind. I mean, I don't mind if they're true, but when you make accusations that hurt and affect more than me. And then he goes, um... Pop pop, oh nice touch. Now see you're seeing the, the the street mentality of this guy, okay? Did you introduce her to Uncle Frank yet? If so, that would have been an easy explanation. So what he's talking about is Oracle from Team Us. I don't even know Frank, never met him. I mean I've spoke to him on the phone. Um I don't deny that. I mean we've had a phone interview for two and a half hours. Um but I don't have any real associations with Frank. I don't know what he does. I don't know what his motives are. I could care less. I mean, for all I know, you know, he's a guy who got scammed in programs that he promoted. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't want to speculate no more. I have no proof. I'm over that. This guy should get over it too. So I let him know. I have seven grandchildren and eight children. He's like, um, let's see, where is it? I want to just show you this shit. He goes, nice man, bless you and them. Oh, he said something nice. Oh, I was blessed by a saint. I should feel happy. And then I tell them, and then other people chime in. So I said, you act like you're in high school. And then that's rich coming from you, okay, whatever. I said, I'm guilty of it too. And then when someone daily lies on me. And then I said, but that's not who I want to be. I just want to make videos and present the latest things in crypto. And someone said, I like the crypto money. And I was like, um, we all like the money. Unfortunately, it's hard to make right now. And then he said, would have been nice for you to wave the peace flag before your Fiverr squad hit my channel with poor me strike. Now, he thinks I should make peace. He wants me to do a public video apologizing for doxing or whatever that is, um, him. But what I did is I made a video of pictures from his Facebook that I cropped out his family and just had him in it, okay? I did that in this private chat room. Only seven people viewed the video. I did it to show him that I knew exactly who he was, that if I decided to pursue him with a lawsuit, that he couldn't hide because I already knew him and had his identification. So I did that just to prove a point. Then I pulled the video down. He's claiming, now he already made videos of me before I did that. I was just doing that to show him he needs to stop because he can't hide behind anonymity because I know who he is, okay? That was a private thing in here. No one's seen it. People told him about it. He never saw it. So he don't know. So he keeps telling me, as you'll see later, that I should apologize. I won't apologize to this man. He has put out multiple videos of me with lies, defamation of character, slander, and libel, okay? And if anyone is on here watching this video and put a thumbs down, that just means that you guys are subscribers of his channel and you were sent here because I am not doing anything in this video that should cause a thumbs down. I'm clearing the air and giving you an insight of what goes on behind the scenes so you can make an informed decision, okay? So he said it would have been before I had a fiber hit squad hit his channel with a strike. That's not him, okay? That's not Fiverr. I did that. My attorney did that. We sent a cease and desist to YouTube about his channel and a defamation notice. And his channel is about to be shut down. Okay, he's gonna lose. He's gonna get more than three strikes because he's been. Re we reported him way more than three times. Okay, 
And when the attorney does it, they perk up their ears and they listen and they act on it. That's why it happened so quickly. All right. That's just step one of my um, legal assault on this man. Okay. So I said, I don't deal with Fiverr. I asked you to stop and take down the videos that were untrue, but you didn't. So I sent it to a YouTube, a defamation report, and so did my attorney. I don't want to sue you, honestly, because you do have a nice little family, and it would cost you travel time and court costs and attorney fees. I really tried to reason with you, but it's totally illegal to do what you're doing, and this is a grown-up world, and defamation, slander, and libel are serious. Okay? Now, you'll see that this, this kid has no clue. Um, let's get to it. Oh my God, if you don't shut up about defamation, man, now here's his intelligence. You need to be famous in the first place to be defamed. You know how stupid that comment just was, guys? <laughs> that just shows the street thug mentality. I mean, yeah, your your street education did not tell you that defamation is slanderous acts or, um, or untrue accusations or allegations towards someone in order to hurt their character or, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Look it up, okay? So I looked it up and I put it on here. <sighs> so I said, don't be stupid. He said, you first and go. I mean, that's like kids stuff. I don't even know what that means. So I show him what defamation means here, okay? Has nothing to do with fame. And he said, ooh, he hit Google. And I said, he said, I said, has nothing to do with fame. He said, and you don't either. LOL, but it don't need Google to tell me that. I mean, this guy's just a jerk off. As any intelligent fact-checking man should, grow up, kid. You you do need Google. And he's like, that's crazy. So anyway, so let's get on to this. So he goes, I feel you on that. And he's talking to someone else. I thought it was odd Sticky would upload the video before he knew. But then they go at each other first. Um, they even show up in a room together. Oh, now me and Newfer in a conspiracy, I guess. First it was me and Oracle. Now this guy, his new conspiracy is me and Newf. So I'm predicting his his next video, whoops, his next video will be all about me and Newf. And he's going to grab little clips out of here and make his own conspiracy theory to get more attention and get more people to subscribe to his master note. Okay. So... Let's go. Okay. I said, bottom line is you were no better than anyone else. You were promoting P3D, okay? So if they decided now that it's slipping a little to take the money and disappear, should we blame you? No, it's not our faults if we believe in programs and they let us down. But how will you feel when it happens? Seriously, nothing is certain. The reason I had more things scam on me is because I had the money to go into more programs than the average person. So it looks like I'm reckless. But the truth is I was diversified and I mitigated my losses. That's all. Okay. I don't think um, Crypto Saint knows what mitigate. I should use more layman terms for him. But okay. So he goes, when will you learn though? Okay. Number one, it's none of your business when I learn. I don't have to learn. Okay. You don't pay my bills. And I can afford to do what I want with my money. It's none of his concern, okay? And I said, well, why does that matter to you, though? And he goes, I told you not to do P-O-W-L and P-O-W-M. I was, I was the first view, and you deleted my comment. Listen, who cares if I delete your comment? Number one, I didn't delete his comment, okay? I have him blocked. I have him blocked for months now. He can't make comments. So if he makes a comment and sends it, it does not show up on my page. All right. I have a list of blocked people, ignorant people who make stupid comments for no reason. OK, so his feelings are hurt because he, I deleted a comment. He didn't want me to promote anything but proof of weak hands because that's what he's in and that's where he's making his money. So he figured if we all promote it, the more people we get in the, because he's on the top of the pyramid, the more money he makes. OK, I could prom I can present any program I want to my people. OK. I was in these. I don't put a program up if I'm not personally in it. Okay. So let's keep going. And I'm sorry for making this video, guys. But people are like, you know, you should put this on your videos. Um, it's entertaining. I'm not here to entertain. I mean, I like to entertain you. But I want to give you truth about crypto and what I'm doing and what's going on currently. I don't want to be addressing this ignorant ass who keeps 
lying on me. But So this is, like I said, this will clear up everything. If you guys take the time to watch this video, you will see what I'm going through with this guy. And then you can make a decision. And then maybe you guys should go to his his videos and make comments and tell him you know the truth and let him know that you don't appreciate what he's doing and maybe he'll stop you know he's gonna stop either way his channel's coming down and I will put him in a federal court with a lawsuit I mean there's no ifs ands or buts about it I'm just trying to avoid that for his family's sake so I said I did learn he goes he said PD wait someone said PD3 is a way better program of course he's gonna promote it yes without a question no ICO gimmick, no countdowns, no exchange dates, just buy, sell earnings. Okay. I said, stop fucking lying. Um, oh, I said, I did learn. He says, stop fucking lying. Oops, typo. Like, he knows when someone's lying. Since when is this guy a lie detector? I mean, he should just become, get on TV or have his own 800 number where he just tells, you know, call in. Hey, is my wife cheating? He knows because he knows everything. So, you know. All right, so here we go. He said, I was off, wait, someone says, you guys need to stop bashing each other, unite against the one who fucked us all. He said, I was all for that, then Stick and Noof went all red coat on us. He's a liar. I tried this same conversation with this man after the first Takaso video. I was like, dude, I don't even know you. Why are you making video about me, lying about me? And you know what he said? And I, and I should have saved the conversation, which is probably in this chat room if I, if I go way up on the chats. Um, he says, because I made a, a, vi a comment to you on a video and you deleted it two months ago, trying to warn you about something. And I don't even know what comment he made. So I was searching and here it was in my spam folder. And I was like, so this guy attacked me because he made a comment and I never replied to him. Like it hurt his feelings or something. Like he was a fan like, like I was Eminem and he was Stan and he wrote me a, a dear, dear Eminem letter. And, uh, because I didn't write him back, he kills his wife, throws her in a friggin, you, you know how the, the song from Eminem goes. I mean, that's just what it sounds like. It's ridiculous. Okay. So I didn't even know this dude wrote me or I would have wrote him back. I usually answer my people on my page. Okay. So I said, you can't tell someone they are lying. And he said, I can watch liar lol okay like and i'm telling him that's childish <sighs> so this guy chimes in sticks up true but i think they learned a lesson so anyway let's get to this okay and then i said it's childish and then he says i'm a ghetto child and i said i have no reason to lie he said i feel you i wish you would just fess up and get in front of that shit and own it Saint, show your master note info and your referrals, and I'll show mine. Because I want him to show that what his motivation is. I bet you he has all his money in his um, account is from referrals. Mine, and I had 12 referral people get under my link in my master node, and the rest is the cash I put in myself. But I cashed out of it because I'm losing money in it. Okay. So, here we go. I bet your only motives is referral money, which is fine, and I don't condemn others for trying to make money. And then here he's saying how me and Oracle are friends. They talked on the phone. Oh, so what if I spoke to someone on the phone? It's public knowledge. I already told people I did. It's no big deal. So he says, what's your motive? Did you have a point? And then he goes, show how much Frankie paid you and I'll show you whatever. So I don't know what he means by that. I never got paid to do an interview or anything. So I said, Frank never paid me. What the hell would he pay me for? I'll show you my emails asking for an interview. He never offered me money. He said, I know he didn't pay you for the interview. You know what I'm talking about. See, this is how I know you still don't get it. You just keep, you just can't keep it real and admit. I don't know what this guy wants me to admit. All right, this guy's friggin' absolutely a living in scenario world or something. He said, yeah, maybe Frankie isn't behind any of the scams, too. Just saying. Well, listen, unless you have proof that this Frank is behind any scams, he shouldn't say it. You cannot just lie on people. It is illegal to slander, defame, or libel people. Libel is putting it in writing, okay, in case you don't know that. All right, so what do you think I was paid for, honestly? I'm tired of the bullshit. What scenario do you believe in your head, it was supposed to say in your mind, Okay. 
then all he does is puts up stupid memes. Stupid memes. I mean, it's just childish. This is what I'm dealing with, guys. I just want you to know the stupid shit I'm dealing with. And if you have, if you guys think this guy has any integrity in his channel, it's ridiculous. I said, the problem with you talk, talking to you, saying is you screenshot bits and pieces of messages here and then spin them into conspiracies that are out of context and liable just so you can get views. And then he puts this stupid shit. Like, what does that mean? I mean, come on. What do you think I was paid for? He said, that's for you to confess. This guy's like, he's, whew. so I said, uh, he said, I said, you were paid to promote P3D. You are on Craig Grant's dick heavy, and he's the king of scammers. I said, you, he said, you thought you got paid to promote POWL and POWM. Damn greedy much. And then he said, um, I said, nope, I never got paid. And he said, who's Craig Grant? Craig Grant's the guy that he put on and said, this is my publicist. Remember in his last video? And who he worships? Okay, so I put up a screenshot here of the administrator from POWL who wrote me a message saying, hey, would you promote our site on your thing? I'll give you 500 tokens. And they said, if you can get Oracle to promote it, I'll give you 500 more tokens. And then I ignored him because... How would I get Oracle to promote anything, number one? I don't know him like that. And I wasn't promoting it because I already went in their site and was losing money, so I got out. Okay? So he said, hey, and then I put out a video saying I wouldn't go in their site because they're from Panama, but they weren't. They cleared it up here. So I sort of regret saying that about these guys because I said it without knowing what the Panama thing was about. It says, hey, man, I watched your video. You showed Panama. The domain register is Panama, and the name is Names, cheap domain name shows Panama. POWL is 5% and POWM is 20% to give our users the options of low dividends or high dividends. So what I should have did is kept promoting it because they're still up and running. They didn't go nowhere and I could have got made over $1,000 for the promotion. But I didn't do that. Okay, so this guy is saying I promote people for money. It's just ridiculous. I turned him down. I said, and I said he, he said, it only took you a, a week to get good Photoshop going. Did you learn that from Frankie? I said, I never answered them. See, I don't even know why I entertain this guy, but I'm doing this so you guys can see what I go through. And then here's his response to never answer him. A stupid meme, like a child. I said, there you are lying again. Do you really believe the lies that you spew? I said, they wrote that message hour before I did the videos, and then hours after I told people to get out because of Panama. And then what does he say? Just dumb shit, okay? So saying, tell the truth now. Your motives behind the videos about me are to get views and subs, and more importantly, referrals. Be honest, okay? And then, uh, let's see, he puts this up. Are you serious? See, this is like childish shit, man. It's like dealing with a fucking child with any kind of lack of common sense and intellect. He's such a jerk. So, anyway, uh, someone chimes in and said, hey, you're all after the same thing. And then someone else, and then I said, uh, I said, how much do you all want to bet, see, uh, that's a typo. Do you all want to bet Saint takes screenshots and makes a new conspiracy video and spins this whole conversation to make it look scandalous? I will show, it will show his character. Okay, he said, stick. Your Prozac is about to wear off. It's best you take your walker and go lie down for the night. Listen, I guarantee I'm in better shape than this punk-ass bitch, okay? I'm not even worried about him. Okay, so... I asked how to turn off my predictable text because it keeps retyping shit I don't want. And then he goes, I know you're lying, so, it's, uh, so it is trying to help you out. So he's saying that my predictable text knows I'm lying, so it's trying to help me out, okay? So, I said, this guy's talking about someone, I said, man, all right, it's ironical, you make videos full of lies and theories, but call me a liar. And I'm totally honest with all of you strangers, okay? Because, honestly, these people, I don't know any of them. I shouldn't even have to defend myself in here. So, this video here I'm making is the last time I address this. But I want you to know the truth, okay? So, here we go. Ironic that you make videos, and then this is his response. Because he's such a freaking kid. I mean, this is stupid. 
I said, there's one person here who knows the truth about me, and if I'm lying, he could speak up and tell you, but he stays quiet because he knows the truth. I don't do things that you say I do, Saint. So, there is one guy in here I speak to on a regular basis sometimes, and I told him everything that's going on, and he knows exactly the honest behind-the-scenes truth about things, which most of you do too. I don't express it all because it's certain people's private information and it's not for me to express it in public so um but he is an honest neutral guy and he would come right out and say i'm lying if i was i told him i said if you ever see me lying in here feel free to call me out on it he said be honest stick you took down took it down because it had a shit ton of dislikes i checked it so he's talking about a video i put up the only dislikes i get is because he asked his people to come dislike my videos so his subs come over, but that's no big deal. I said, I don't care about dislikes. I took it down because it had your pick in it, and I felt like a hypocrite for putting it there. Okay? So, I do not have to lie. He goes, well, it's the same stick in my Steam It profile. I don't care. It just showed how lame you are, and people really saw that. So, I said, that doesn't make it right for me to post it. He said, you're dense, man. Do you take medication? That might help me to put this in the right light. Now, see the stupid shit he says. All right, if you have a medically, wait, medicinally inclined stupidity, I can stop right now. I'll even apologize, like, right now. He just thinks he's a comedian. He's he, It's just insane. So, let's get back to where I said. I said, I'm not the dude you paint me to be. I'm not spending more time on this. Focus your videos on good shit. The slander is old and unfounded and will inevitably lead to your self-destruction. Let it end now. It's wasted negativity. I don't like knowing I made up stories about Oracle for views, but it worked and it wasn't right. I don't know if that man was behind the scams, but to the average person, it sure looked like it. So I confronted him, and it don't make me a bad person, but I stopped with the accusations because I had no proof. So you should think about your tactics and motives. Have a good night, everyone. So I tried to get out of the conversation, and they wouldn't stop. And then someone said, we should go argue on live stream. And I was like, I'm not here for your entertainment. This isn't a game. It's really disturbing and uncalled for. And they said, they are here for entertainment. He said, what are you here for? It would be good YouTube. And I was like, obviously, lately, I'm only to defend my character. And I, he, said, he said, that's a waste of time. Defend it by showing, not talking. So I don't know who this guy is or what he meant. He said, entertain your subs. Okay, so maybe that's what I'm doing by showing you guys this video. I don't know. If you're entertained, good. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> anyway, I said my channel's not about drama. It's to show how great crypto investments were, but that went south. Okay. He said, lately all you talk about is Saint. I've seen your latest videos. Hopefully you got into this and this and that, blah, 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 make money. And I said, my channel's, and then he said, you have a great sense of humor in your views. You just can read this for yourself. And I said, I don't want to talk about Saint ever. I just don't want to be lied on anymore. It's not right. And taking the joy out of crypto for me. I don't even want to do videos. And I love making them, but not to be ridiculed daily. And this guy's, you know, he says what he likes. Um, this guy said, stop bashing, concentrate on Oracle instead. I'm not concentrating on Oracle. Oracle has not, not done anything to anyone lately. And if he's done anything to anyone, no one has proof of it. So we shouldn't even worry about him. Okay. I don't want to talk to Zane ever. Okay, he said, you should make a public video and apologize for trying to dox me twice and then not delete the video. So he wants me to make a public video apologizing for doxing him. So what I did is I put five pictures from his Facebook and said, Tony Lewis, I know who you are. I know where you work. I know where your business is. Okay, I know where you're from. If I choose to sue you, I can find you. You cannot hide from me. And that's what the video was about. It was a four-minute video. It got viewed by seven people in this private chat room. And then I deleted it because I thought, you know what? It's not right to put him out there like that. All right? So he don't know what the video is. He never seen it. Just people were stirring up the pot in here saying, ooh, he put out all your private information. Wasn't true. He put your family in videos. It wasn't true. Never put his family in the video. I, I'm not classless. I have more class than that. Okay. So anyways, here we go. I don't know Saint personally, so I can't talk bad on him. All I could do is tell the truth that he is lying on me and building his channel off people's names, and that's all I could say about him. I would like I would like his videos if they stopped including trash and others. Seriously, he could build his channel organically without harming others' reputations. He caused me to lose 340 subs in two months, 
and I do you know how hard it is to gain 340 subs I did 300 videos to earn them subs he said well there's a start how do you know you lost subs because of me and not for your failed programs you were in that's one hell of an assumption on your part because I never lost any subs until he started making his videos okay <sighs> so anyway I said I never put your family in any videos I cropped you out and just showed you and said this is the guy lying on me do you know how many people wanted me to make that video public it's not my style I wanted you to know that I found you I literally had it in the chat room for only five minutes it only had seven views and I deleted it okay so he goes who cares apologize in a video there's a start and try not to delete it in two hours so basically what he's saying is he wants me to validate and say I'm sorry for something I did not do so it makes it look like he was right and I was wrong this whole time and it vindicates him for these stupid videos he's put out with lies about me I would never tell this guy I'm sorry for that was it wrong to put his private pictures but he does that to me all his videos contain my pictures so no it wasn't wrong it was just a message to him okay and now I think I legally have to go forward with with what I promised I was going to do. And you'll see that coming up here. Okay. So Crypto Noof chimes in and said that he would say the chances are high that he puts screenshots and makes new conspiracy video about us with this message. This message. But he's not going to be able to do that because you're going to see this entire message in its entirety. Okay. Now. Um, why should I apologize to you? You have slandered me for weeks. I made videos with seven views and had enough sense to pull it down and never lied on you in a video. And um, he said, right, nah, you'll apologize for doing what you did. And that there's, that's a start. <laughs> He's such a jerk. Um, so let's get back to this. So here he's on Crypto Noob's ass. All right, let's get back to the conversation with me in it. Okay, I said, and then I started getting irritated. I'm like, you cannot defame others for attention. It is illegal, period. It has consequences, and I'm trying not to cause you that expense. See, my lawyer is one of my best friends and vice president of my label. So it don't cost me anything to pursue financial, financially destroying you. But I don't want to affect your children's needs by affecting your finances. So I'm publicly asking you for the last time to stop now including me in your videos and I will not pursue any further actions. Just say okay. It shows strength, not weakness, to stop talking about people. This ain't the streets, bro. I'm trying to extend the olive branch one more time. Don't let your ego or street mentality affect your livelihood. And I mean that sincerely. So what does he do? You cannot defame others. I stopped reading the story right there. Can I have a summary? So he's such a jerk. See, he, do, he doesn't... He just thinks this is a game. Okay, and this isn't a game. This is my reputation, um, my integrity. And he just thinks this is a game. Because on the streets, you know, you could talk about people and get street credit. This ain't the streets, man. This is real life here. This is not the, this is not a joke. This ain't high school. Okay? And here he's telling people that they're, they're smoking meth. He's just a jerk. Okay. I really didn't read it. Did you choose to make a public apology for what you did? Number one, I did nothing to the guy. Now, you see how stupid he is? I hope you are all really paying attention to this video and, and taking the time to go through it. I'm sorry it's so long, but this is the stupid conversations I have with this guy. Okay? So anyway, that's as far as it went. So now, guys, you see the truth. So when you see Crypto Saint's new video and he has bits and pieces of this conversation and twists it and turns it to make it look shitty on my part, you'll see what I was really talking about there, okay? And you'll see what kind of person this is and what his motivations are. And if you are a true subscriber, true fan of my channel or friend, or, you know, you like the content, you should really visit his channel and voice your opinion on what he's doing.
So if more people, because people are on his channel like, yo, you're right, keep up the good work, Saint. But they don't know what he's doing. They only see his videos. They don't see what he's doing behind the scenes here. And now you guys see the truth, and I hope you guys act on it. If you don't want to get involved, I understand, because it is childish. But if, you, you know, if you're tired of seeing this stuff come out of this guy's mouth about me and other people, you know, let your voice be heard, and maybe it'll make a difference. All right, guys, sorry to waste your time. But I just wanted to clear this up. It's really bugging me. All right, have a good day, guys.